How you doing? I'm good, you? <laughs> it was one of those, you know, great experience that um, you know, I've just witnessed, and you know, he's my favorite player, so you know, it you know, really opened my eyes to see what he does off the court and how he prepares for a game, and you know, just the little things that he gets to. So, so yeah, so it wasn't just like a, you know, hello, like a five-minute chat. Like he, he really did open up and you know, told us some personal things, and um, yeah, I think it, it was just it was a, it's a great experience for me, you know, just. For him to open, I didn't think he would open up that much, but you know, for him to share his stories and things he's gone through and how he got to the top level, and you know, I love, I, I, I just loved it. So, yeah, I think that's what made everything so special was that we got to see him and meet him on a personal level rather than a meet and greet like you mentioned, and just his signature. We really got to know Kevin Durant as a person, um, sort of what makes him tick and what makes him, uh, what, he, what his purpose is and what he wants to achieve in his career. So, um, yeah, it was a great insight that he gave us. Yeah, we just had a pretty rare experience um, going through the Warriors facilities and meeting Kevin Durant. He had a bit of a workout this morning and um, he was uh, good enough to give us plenty of time actually and uh, we really appreciate it and learn a lot from him. Because I started down here with nobody was watching when I was a kid and I, I was just hoping that somebody came watch me play. Yeah. I mean, so for you guys to travel so far to come see us play, it was all worth it. You know, I, was, I got in the car and told one of my buddies, I'm like, man, this is... This is what I live for, you know, not playing the games, not going out there and having a good game or winning or losing. I mean, it's just the impact that we got, that we have, the platform that we have to just kind of inspire people. And mm -hmm. basketball, I feel, is an art form. So when people watch us play, and they feel like they can do the same things. And so it, it feels good that people come watch us play, man. It's, it, it means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. I've, I've accomplished everything I, I wanted to accomplish in the NBA. And it's like, I won an MVP, I scored 30 points a game, I won a championship, won finals MVP, I've done everything I wanted to do, so it's like, what's next? And how do I get up the next day yeah. and feel motivated to go play basketball? Christian, I think, yeah. yeah, for someone that's, that's been playing at the top level for 16 years, um, you know, I feel like the same thing, you know, I've been lucky enough to, to win a couple of premierships. Um, you know, have that individual success, but it's, I guess for me, finding that motivation, you know, each training session, each game, um, you know, and I, I was going to ask how you do that, but I think you, know, you, you answered that question with Tommy. That yeah, well, was perfect, and everything mm -hmm. was going well. Some days I'm not excited to be there. Some days I'm not talking. <laughs> yeah. Anything that I can do to inspire the youth where I come from first and then around the world, I mean, I want to start at home first. And, you know, I, know, I know it takes a long time to really impact the kid's life and I think that's an everyday process but somebody they can look up to I wish I had that growing up I wish I can look towards somebody and say this is where I want to go so <laughs> you bring some Vegemite out? <laughs> have you tried Vegemite? no oh, I've got some kidding. Oh, oh you're kidding me you like oh it. my goodness so, it's a bit like Marmite you've got Marmite mm. no. I forgot to bring some and then I found some at the airport what but I thought that? Vegemite <laughs> this is what this oh. is what Australians put on their toast in the morning they love it. Oh, I personally hate it, but how Not about like before I hand it's it to you? Very salty. How about you try some? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's an experience. No, oh, it's not. Oh, wow. oh, it's not a good smell. No. Oh. <laughs> you gotta taste it. Oh no, man. Get get your finger in there. Don't take too much. You like it? Just a little bit. Sorry, I got my finger. Oh. <laughs> 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 they do that shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tosh, you gotta mix I wish anybody had chewing gum. I forgot mine. <laughs> Personally, I don't eat it, but you guys eat mine, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't? So, yeah, I like good. it. I yeah, like it. No, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it's better on toast. It's not like yeah, that. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I need a little, I need a little oh, drink. I need some to drink. <laughs> yeah, it's something yeah. going oh, Man, I've been making music lately. I've oh, been yeah. trying to yeah. learn new instruments and learn what sound means, what sonics mean. Yeah. Um, that's, been, that's been a passion of mine like the last few years, and it's just taken me away from, mm. just totally taken me away from thinking about basketball or which anything involving the NBA, which is to that's so underrated when it comes to professional sports. It's just a... Uh, getaway <laughs> just not thinking about it at all so when I try to put music together or listen to music or try to learn more about the music business the history of it and just 
it just makes me happy. <laughs> and then I can go back and enjoy it, you know, when I'm away mm -hmm. from the game. Mm -hmm. Also want to know, do you enjoy playing other sports? Like, do you go enjoy going and hit golf or soccer or, yeah. you know, NFL or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I haven't got into golf as much, but I want to, Steph told me he was going to take me out, <laughs> teach me a few things. But yeah, like I said, just, when you can uh, when you kind of relate to other sports and relate to other people's journeys, it makes it better to come back and do what you do, you know. So I try to follow as much as I can. I try to, if I'm interested in a sport, football, golf, baseball, I just try to find players and teams that I try to attach to and learn more from. Hopefully it, you know, helps me in the long run as far as what I do. So I can appreciate anybody who works on their craft as much as I do. There's a lot of yes. people out here that does so. so. Yes. It's good. Yep. Hey, we do appreciate hey, it. Hey, we appreciate your time oh, so yeah, much. Time. Thank you. Hey, on behalf of the group, just want to say a big thank you for coming yeah, out thank you. and taking the time to, to speak to all the guys. A lot of great insight there. And uh, we've got your little present here. So this is, uh, yeah. this is this is my new team that I've moved to. Oh, yeah, you switched teams like I'll switch me, teams. Huh? I'll switch teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just got to like that. Yeah. 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 This one. I appreciate so this. Enjoy. Thank yeah. you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, appreciate it. Here we go. So you you do that on the run, huh? We do that on the run, yeah. Yeah. And do you, do you dribble on the run? Yeah. How, how do you dribble that thing? Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So we're gonna bounce the ball as well. So every every fifteen meters that we run, we need to bounce the ball, otherwise it's a free kick to the opposition. So Turn if we're, oh, we're okay. spreading the orange the oval, we need Turn. to bounce it. Hey, I need more lessons, man. Well, it might not be as nice as you, but. Oh, hey, it works. See you guys later. Yeah, good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hopefully we get it done. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.